welcome to everyone. Today's topic, a positive approach to family well-being. Very important topic to reflect about, especially in these times where we find ourselves. We start by reflecting family. What do we understand about family? Perhaps all of us who are listening right now may have a different viewpoint, and that's okay. For us here, reflecting within the theory of reincarnation, within spiritism, we understand that family on earth is the divine project that is presented to all of us. God's project for us as children of beings in evolution to evolve and to grow as we go along. And as we carry on reflecting, bear in mind what the benefactor, a spirit, Joana de Angelis, tells us. Be happy with the life you live and always thank God for the glory of knowing and loving in order to act with lucidity. Are we capable of giving thanks for the experiences that we are living in daily existences in our family setting? Sometimes, maybe quite challenging for all of us. But as we go along and learn, the family is the right environment to promote psychological, emotional and spiritual health for all of us who are members of a family, always starting within ourselves. Happy here in a sense of comprehending the objective of life, which is our evolution. Understanding also that we are learners who are at the beginning of our learning. It's almost like we could compare ourselves with children. We behave quite often with children and therefore may find challenging moments which we can learn to overcome. Is as we choose to live our existences or family relationships in a more lucid way. What do we mean by that? Lucid means that we are all immortal beings who have been granted the possibility to be again on earth, the school earth, and also within our family, which is the greatest school of all, on developing our psychological and emotional intelligence in developing, evolving, and progressing spiritually. Why is that? Because through each challenge which we are facing, if we choose to live in a lucid way, we are learning that the universe is inviting us for us to overcome our own limitations, using our free will in a different way. And as we learn, it's still by the benefactor Joana de Angelis, the spirit, who is helping humanity to evolve, is telling us that the gospel is the most beautiful poem of hope and consolation that is heard. And at the same time, it is a precious treaty of contemporary psychotherapy to the countless evils that afflict the individual and humanity. The evils here refer to our shortcomings, to our limitations, through our perfections. So the psychotherapy from the gospel means that we choose to engage in a proposal, proposal to renew us through love. The illness or the difficulty quite often that we face within our family setting, they are based within the individuals who form that family group, who bring also with them the resources to overcome them as long as we choose to stimulate the higher potentials within our hearts, within our minds, and choosing to be better people. And then we also learn through the gospel, according to spiritism, we in the, in the chapter, be perfect in the item tree under the good person, because we essentially are all good people, but we haven't trained ourselves much to manifest that. And the reflections today perhaps may help us. 
The truly good person is the one co who complies with the laws of justice, love and charity in their highest degree of purity. We are within the possibility to develop the law of justice, not the justice according to human law, but the justice according to God, the loving Father. Justice meaning whatever is good to us is good for others and is good today and will be good tomorrow for everyone everywhere. It's a bit different when compared with human justice, but here we are looking within the divine justice. Developing love. Love in essence from a deeper perspective means choosing freely, spontaneously to develop our duties. Our duties are the choices that we already agreed to potentialize within ourselves in relation to others. Therefore, learning to be more charitable and charity here on an ethical perspective in order to promote well-being on individual level and collective in the sense today family means learning to be more indulgent towards others, to be more benevolent and to be more forgiving. And when we train this level of charity in relation to us and others, we are the ones who are promoting well-being within us, despite of other family members' responses. And we can also impact our family environment in that positive, proactive way. The good person knows that with God's permission, without God's permission, nothing can happen. Therefore, submits itself to all things, to his will. The good person, as more as we develop the divine law within us, the goodness that we already have and stimulate that, we choose freely from within to resignate ourselves and to obey God's will, knowing that God's will is always helping to promote us towards goodness, towards harmony, towards health and well-being within the individual and the family setting. So as more we learn to be humble, that will favor this proactive interaction with self and others on a daily basis. Good people have faith in the future, reason by which they choose the spiritual values above those of temporal nature. As more as we develop goodness within, bear in mind that we have the seeds of goodness. Essentially, we are good people, but we need to stimulate, choose freely to do that. Then we comprehend from a broader perspective that we are all spirits, immortal beings, and we are back to the school earth and the first society, the first classroom that we face is our family. In order for us to promote us, in order for us to evolve as our journey of evolution continues and promote us, develop ourselves in goodness. In the ethical values which are good for us, are good for others, are good for all of us all the time, everywhere, where we are. And those values are the universal values called virtues. They know that all vicissitudes of life, all pains and deceptions are trials or atonements and accept them without murmuring. Once we understand that we are beings in evolution, despite of the transitory temporary positions where we may find ourselves in a family environment, fathers, mothers, children, brothers and sisters, grannies or whatever, those positions are transitory, transitory but we understand we are immortal beings and we are here now to go through the trials and choose freely to pass them. How do we do that? Observe on our daily basis within the family setting what is challenging to us. Or should we come back to our emotional dimension where we still carry a lot of resistances from the old way of behaving and being in a very selfish way. But our goal or proposal right now for all of us is to develop goodness, altruism, so that we can be of good help towards us and others in the family. So we reduce, in case we have the ability, 
to complain because we are conscious of those negative limited behaviors which do not suit us and that do not help to promote well-being within the family setting and choose now to develop positive ways of thinking about us and others. For example, exercising our minds on a daily basis that I am a immortal being. I am part of the universal family and I choose to be in this corporeal family for me to promote myself. For me on a daily basis to choose to be better than I have been on the day before and so on. What would be the effect of society in family if family ties would relax? We learn in the spirit spoken question 775. And the enlightened spirits tell us it would lapse into selfishness. That helps us to understand that family is God's project on earth. Such the importance of the family context. So let's take the opportunity in this short time, which is one existence as immortal beings, to invest in overcoming the differences that perhaps we still may bring in our emotional dimension or also in our psychological, which means the mental level. Always bear in mind, we are spirits. We can choose freely because we have the ability of inner freedom to think in a more positive, constructive way. We can choose to be more proactive within my family. Men and women who possess the sentiments of charity and love do good for the sake of goodness without waiting for payment of any kind. They repay evil with good. Positive, proactive approach to family well-being. Where are we? I would invite everyone now to reflect within and to think. When I choose to do A, B or C in my family environment, I am doing it seeking approval from others wanted to be uploaded, wanted to be recognized, or I am freely chosen to do good because I already understood that doing good for others means doing good for ourselves. And doing good for ourselves is good for us in the now, in the present, and in the future. Because remember what we said at the beginning, essentially, we are all beings of goodness. These kind of people encounter satisfaction in the benefits they are able to spread, in the service they are able to render, in the happiness they promote. Their first impulse is always to think of others than of themselves. Where am I? Always thinking first of myself and then of other family members? Or are we already in a point where we promoted us to be in a more balanced way? Those who will choose to love more from the self level onwards, that is, from the essence of ourselves, are those of us who choose to do good within the family members without any expectation. Giving love naturally, with you be engaging in the divine supreme resource of love. Therefore, we will overcome eventually needy aspects in us. The one who is more forgiving is the one who is more free of it in. Who doesn't need forgiveness? We still all do mistakes as learners. The one who chooses to develop benevolence towards the shortcomings of others, towards the imperfections of others, is the one who quicker can forgive, forget, and engage in a healthy way, promoting well-being on the individual basis and also on the collective as a family. Happiness within a family context or outside it depends on our internal choices. Real happiness is within, not without. Real happiness depends how we choose to think in relation to the events that happen. Events or people's behaviors, they are neutral. How we perceive them, that makes the difference. If it's negative, let's choose to actualize our belief systems. Think in a more fraternal, 
in a more solidarious way, in a more friendly way, expanding those higher potentials, the ethical values. The good person is always good, humane and benevolent with everyone in the family. Although we are all different, bear that in mind. Through the law of reincarnation, we may not have the same sentiments towards each other, but we can choose to respect each other. And that is developing the higher self, the higher uh, values. Moral betterment of human race and happiness during terrestrial life are the results which the law of love brings. We can all achieve relative happiness on earth once we choose to follow the pathway of love. Love means, in terms of family context here, which is our focus today, learning to forgive, learning to tolerate, learning to be patient, learning to cooperate without expectations, diminishing the expectations that we in a selfish way may have or towards others, ourselves. Learning to be happy is the one who is choosing to do good for all of those who are around us in the family context, even if no one recognizes that, because our consciousness recognizes our actions, either from a selfish perspective or from an altruistic perspective. Let's choose to be more altruistic, because that favors inner health, inner well-being, and also within our family. Love which is a spontaneous choice and option for all of us, presented by the universe, for us to feed us with that resource once we choose to connect with our essence, the divine, the sacred, the self. We all bring innate ability to love. In different levels, it's true, but we all can do that. We all bring the inner freedom within the free choice that we can choose to think in a more positive way, choosing to think in a constructive way towards the family member that perhaps has been harsh with us. We are free internally to stimulate the goodness within. And once we do that, we are naturally developing a more positive, proactive environment and also developing well-being, starting within ourselves and sharing that amongst those who live in our family on a daily basis. So let's choose this pathway and promote well-being in our families, because that is good for us, that is good for all of those who are with us today and also in the future. Much peace to all.